Hi, this is Gene. I'm coming to you from Glendale, Arizona, and I'm out here at my 1989 Ultra Star, and I'm having a little generator difficulty. So uh, here's my Onan generator, and uh, the problem is the exhaust pipe that can't, comes off the uh, rear of the generator, and it used to come out on the back of the RV down and out the back. Here's the bracket where the muffler used to go. And over here, way up underneath, is my uh, my tailpipe from my pipe from my muffler. And that's where it broke off. Now, because the muffler hangs down so low, and this is a low profile vehicle, it hits whenever you uh, go over a hump or something. Hits on this muffler right here the, where the muffler goes in. They're a hundred bucks a piece plus the time to, to put the new one on. So a lot of times you go into get gasoline, one of these stations, and you bought them out on the muffler, hundred bucks. But not only that, it's the inconvenience of uh, of running it either with a damaged muffler make a noise or uh, the inconvenience of having to change the muffler so anyway what I've got here this is the back side of my generator I'm gonna come out over here on the manifold and I'm gonna come right down inside here someplace and then I'm gonna go right out the back now this is my over here is my 50 amp uh, circuit breakers that I could run uh, 50 amp in here instead of 30, and I got it broken up into a 30 and a 20, and it's hooked up directly to the RV, so I could plug in over here. I could plug up in a Marine 50 right here and supply this uh, unit with 50 amp of service. And the reason I did that is because typically you can only run one air conditioner at a time and uh, off of a 30 amp. Now the generator, what generator this is a 6.5 generator that's the uh, on the back there that's your ignition coil and a capacitor which goes bad sometimes on these units and there's your starter if you have to work on your starter. Now I got kind of a mess over here that I I need to clean up but I've just been pretty lackadaisical on it but anyway this is the underneath of my motorhome this is a uh, leveler hydraulic leveler it's all the way out and uh, there's my gas tank uh, my rear dualies my other hydraulic leveler on the rear end. This thing sits pretty low. Right now it's up on these hydraulic levelers and that's about right there it's about nine inches. And uh, when you let that down this thing just about almost drags on the highway. Even though even it won't. But even though I have uh, airbags in the back inside the springs. Air, uh, ones that I can uh, I can activate. That's what it looks like underneath there. You can observe it underneath the motorhome. This is a P30 frame here. And this is my uh, uh, this is my my trailer hitch and my spare tires up there. And then I had these which keeps stones from flying up off your tires, especially if you're towing something like a boat or a trailer. You don't want stones getting thrown up off the back wheels, and these these will stop it. Of course, I got a hole right in here because this is where the exhaust pipe went for the uh, <laughs> for the generator. So I'll get right back to you on this. Okay, well I showed you the exhaust pipe. And this is what was on the bottom of the exhaust pipe. And it was welded right there and the weld broke. 
Must have rusted through. And I actually thought that it was the uh, it was the gasket in there. Anyway, this is the gasket that I ordered, and I uh, went to put on and realized that the the flange was broke, the weld at the flange, and this is what it looked like right there and that's the flange right there and that flange broke off so I'm gonna hook on right here on this pipe and then run that flex line over to it and it uh, turns out that it wasn't the gas the gasket that goes through there so I went online and I found this one inch flex steel three foot long comes with a clamp I got extra clamps on it and I couldn't find anything that would go in that exhaust pipe, that one inch exhaust pipe, except for this this uh, Schedule 80 conduit uh, connector. And that goes right in there perfect, and that's what I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to run this flex line down, and then I need to make some kind of a modification for this elbow. And I might just cut this elbow up so that it goes over the top of this here somehow and uh, this is what was in there before and it was mounted like this and as you can see the muffler is damaged right there and the way that happens is it this either bottoms out or this bottomed out this time this got hit and it pushed the muffler up into the frame right there and then that's the rest of the exhaust pipe with a hanger going that went out the back and so I'm going to put this all together and then I'll do a little video and show you how it turned out. Okay, I'll uh, catch you later. Okay, so here I am underneath the motorhome again and uh, we finished this project on the generator exhaust pipe. And we got, uh, we got the two clamps up in there. And we got uh, the uh, electrical coupling up inside the uh, exhaust pipe and we got everything clamped down and it seems to be pretty sturdy right there. Uh, used a uh, electrical beam clamp and uh, hooked that, that up on the, uh, on the rubber uh, hanger that I bought. I bought two hangers and uh, it comes around like this. It's clear of the gas tank and uh, I used that uh, elbow at 90 and I brought it around and I hooked it on the muffler and uh, I put this uh, four inch clamp on here and the four inch clamp goes up and it comes off of uh, another hanger up here and then all I had to do was uh, shorten the tailpipe I just wish that when I shortened it I didn't make it so short and I used a beam clamp on that So it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's pretty sturdy. I could have put another clamp on it on this other side here, but and I may later. But that's the way it came out. It is what it is. Pretty good. There's no leaks. Pretty quiet. So now if there's a problem with the muffler, I could just go ahead and replace that muffler. That four inch uh, exhaust clamp worked pretty good. So I might put one more on here to try and bring it up a little bit. Put another clamp over here. I'm not sure if I might go from here to here or something. I'm not sure. But it'll be it'll be a rubberized clamp. Like I've got over here. It come out pretty good. I like it. 
Okay, that's all for now, and I'll catch you guys later. Happy trails.